You're insecure, so hard for your old brains on what they were before. Uh -uh. And two or three, it's fun for us. Cause we're younger, we can still remember stuff. Uh -uh. Everyone else can multiply it by 60. Everyone else can add two. Now take a one hundred and add on twenty. Well, welcome back, students. This is Coach Holiday, and today's lesson is the second part of uh, operations with rational expressions. We're going to continue with simplifying and multiplying and work into dividing today. And actually, with dividing, it's just going to be basically what we did in the last lesson. So, to divide rational expressions, we're going to treat them kind of like fractions, because the rational expression is just a quotient. So, let's go back and remember what we learned about fractions many years ago. If I have the fraction 1 half, and that's divided by 3 over 2. If you remember back when we worked with fractions, back when you were in middle school and elementary school, we leave the first fraction alone and leave it 1 half. And then we take the division and we turn it into multiplication. And then we take that second fraction and we take the reciprocal, multiply by flipping it. So 2 over 3. And then we do our multiplication. So I'd go 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And that would reduce to 1 third. Okay, so basically with dividing rational expressions, all you're going to do is simply multiply. by the reciprocal. I hope I spelled that right. Alright, so that's basically what we're going to do. So let's look at an example. Alright, we're going to divide 5x to the 4th over 8x squared y squared divided by 15 over 8y to the 5th. So we're just going to use our rules here. Okay, Our rules with fractions are to leave the first one 5x to the 4th over 8x squared y squared. And we're going to change the, the, the division to multiplication, and we're going to flip the second one. So 8y to the 5th over 15. And then we're going to follow our rules from uh, yesterday's lesson. I'm just going to combine them together. I'm going to multiply this times this. So 5 times 8 is 40. I have x to the 4th, y to the 5th. Nothing to combine those with. Over 8 times 15, that would be 120. Then I have my x squared, y squared. And then we'll simplify this down even further. 40 goes into both of these. It goes into that one once, and it goes into that one three times. All right, I have x to the fourth over x to the second. If you remember, there's four x's on top, two in the bottom, so I'll cancel two out. So that would give me one x, and then x to the second is going to be on top. y to the fifth over y to the second would be y to the third, and that would be over three. And that's my answer. I don't have to include this 1 in there if I don't want to. So I could just make it x squared y to the third over 3. All right, let's do one more example. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Let you get started on your assignment, OK? This next example, there's a small little mistake in the problem. If you'll notice here, it says multiplication. That's supposed to be divided by. 
So fix that in your note packet for me, okay? All right, so we're going to rewrite this as 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 over x squared minus 9 times, and let's flip this one, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 over 4x squared minus 1. All right? Now, remember we want to factor this all out. So I'm not going to go through all the factoring processes and everything. This one down here factors to x plus 3 x minus 3. This one factors to 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. All right, up here, let's go ahead and factor these. I'll show you how those work, okay? So we'll factor that in a box. Put 2x squared here. Put our negative 4 here. It has to multiply to be 2x squared times negative 4. It's negative 8x squared. It has to add to be that middle term, negative 7x. So this one's a pretty simple one to figure out. It'll be negative 8x times positive 1x, and negative 8x plus 1x is negative 7x. So negative 8x. 1x. My factors will be x there, minus 4, 2x, plus 1. Make sure those work. 2x squared minus 8x, 1x, and minus 4. So here I'm going to have 2x plus 1 and x minus 4. And then we need to factor this one. Let's go ahead and do it. I have, uh, let's do our box here, let's do this a different color just so we can keep up with it, keep them separate. Be 2x squared here, 3 here, I have to multiply to be 6x squared. We have to add together to be that middle term which is negative 7x. Alright, so that's going to be negative 6x times negative 1x. When I add those together, I get negative 7x. So negative 6x, negative 1x. So my factors are going to be um, x minus 3, 2x minus 1. Multiply we'll those out, double check them, they all look like they work out. So I've got x minus 3 and 2x minus 1. Now let's look and start canceling. Whatever's on the top and the bottom might cancel. So that one will cancel with that one. x minus 4 doesn't have anything to cancel with, x minus 3 does, and 2x minus 1 does. So all I'm left with is this factor and that factor as my division problem. So I'll rewrite my answer now as x minus 4 over x plus 3. And that's our simplified version of this problem. Okay? All right. Hope that went well for you. Remember, all you're going to do is do what you did yesterday. You're going to, but first you have to multiply it by the reciprocal. Leave the first fraction the way it is, change it to multiplication flip the second one. Go ahead and complete the WSQ and uh, we'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a great night.